on the lookout for West Africa's last giraffes. This is the northern tip of the Kure Natural Reserve, some 50 kilometers south of Niger's capital, Niamey. The African savanna stretched out as far as the eye can see. But soon a herd shows up at a distance, grazing on their favorite acacia trees. There was a time when these exclusively West African light-spotted giraffes roamed across the region from Senegal to Lake Chad. But drought and hunting reduced them to a small group, now found only in Niger. Authorities here have been trying to protect what remains of this endangered subspecies. They are proud of the result. In 1996, we had just 50 giraffes. Now, as we speak, we have 452 giraffes. We try to get a closer look, but as we approach, we are told not to disturb them. The giraffe that you can see behind me is not the biggest one in this park. Actually, the biggest one they tell us here is called Siddo. It's very famous and you can spend an entire year looking for him because this is a very large park, actually more than the size of Lebanon, about 11,000 square kilometers. Nature here is quiet and beautiful and the giraffes seem to share both qualities. The giraffe is a peaceful animal. If you don't make a noise, you can come less than 15 meters away from it. It's also very curious. Sometimes it would stare at you as long as you stare at it. I love them as if they're my own pets. We have names for them. There was even one that carried my name, Celes Humana, but unfortunately he died. But some people living in the area hardly share this affection. We don't see any use to them. They just destroy our crops and eat the trees. We lived here for a long time before the giraffes. Now they are a problem for us, and there's nothing we can do about it. Another problem affecting both people and giraffes consisted of two years of drought, resulting in meager crops and drier vegetation. Tourism has also been on the decline. At the beginning we made some income, but now there's a crisis because of insecurity. We used to receive large numbers of visitors, up to nine groups per day, but now it's five or six per week. At the entrance of the reserve, tour guides don't have much to do for most of the day. There's concern that violence in the area and drought could reverse the success Niger has made in preserving one of West Africa's natural wonders. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Kure Natural Reserve. Niger.